Hi everyone, this is Ting from Ting Yu and Art. Thank you for joining me. Now, today I'm going to talk to you about a uh, few of my artwork. And I would also like to tell you that uh, my uh, Facebook Live has changed time because I was doing it in late afternoon, but I found myself getting really exhausted by the time that I do my Facebook Live. So I'm doing it in, in the morning when I'm bright and uh, not sleepy. Okay, so today we're going to talk about um, courage as the print, as the artwork. And I'm going to start off with the story of Metamorphosis. I do believe when I... Metamorphosis is about uh, the transformation in life. And when I paint, I actually paint my journal because when I started painting, it was I was going through a hard time in my life. So uh, the only way I know how to... I knew how to work through my problems was by painting. It's just like you know, instead of writing my journal, I painted my journal. And as the journal continues, and then it became my business, and therefore uh, the series grown in size, and I call it the Artist Diary series. It's their personal stories, but at the same time, because I believe as humans, uh, our universal uh, fears and joys and our ambitions are very similar uh, because we are all humans and we have the same kind of fears and joys. Therefore, my diary, I'm sure you can relate to. And if you are interested in knowing more about them, when you go into my website, tingyuanart.com, you can actually click on to read the stories of each artwork. Now, I'm going to start off with Metamorphosis and then bring you to Courage. Uh, Metamorphosis. The original is sold, so I only have the um, large open edition for sale. And it's about how if we learn to master our mind, we can recreate ourselves over and over again. And we should always put our fears behind us and only focus on the positive things in our lives. And the way to do it really is by writing down what is not serving you well and then write down what you can do in order to eliminate that problem and also write down about what you can do in order to conquer the challenge but sometimes you're not you know just by get getting rid of the problem is not the solution sometimes you just have to grow in order to be able to overcome that challenge now metamorphosis was painted uh during the time when I was going through uh, hardship and I realized that my thought wasn't serving me well because it was going towards negativity instead of you know making me feel like okay this is a challenge I should work towards it so as I was painting metamorphosis I have metamorphosis one two and three um, it started changing my life because my train of thought starting to move and then I started to realize that in order for me to be able to overcome my challenge, I have to put forth the effort and also find a solution on how to do that. And in order to do that, I need to be able to communicate better and also be always in the positive light of everything that I see and um, not to be afraid of the, the challenges that comes along and to know that I am strong enough for anything that's difficult that comes along. Now, metamorphosis have actually changed quite a few women's lives. I actually have an artist that um, wrote to me. She actually came to my gallery and she looked at my artwork. And I noticed that she felt she looked a little bit of, you know, she was a little lost. And um, she bought a few cards and she went home. And about a month or two months later, she wrote me and she said, I just want to know how much you have helped me. And she told me that when she left my gallery, she left with a few of my artwork and she uh, went home and she put it in a drawer. And at that time, her life wasn't serving her very well either. She just moved from east to west. And whenever she was depressed, she would pull them out of her drawer and she would look at them. And she would memorize the words and she would look at the art and starting to gain more and more confidence and starting to gain more and more energy from you know metamorphosing then she realized she wants to metamorphose she wants to change in her life because if she doesn't metamorphose and she doesn't 
make a change in our life, things are going to stay stagnant. And when things go stay stagnant, she will be unhappy. And um, as you can see, I use the for the metamorphosis. I use the butterflies as the symbols for metamorphosing because that's what metamorphosis is about. It's about the transformation. And I painted the background dark because I want us to put our fears behind. So after I painted that, and after she told me about her story, I was so touched, and I thought of her. I didn't. I had a small conversation with her, but it was not much. But I just started thinking that it could be this girl that came to my gallery that year. And so I started thinking about what she looked like. So I painted Courage. And Courage, again, it was sold, so I only have the uh, limited edition to show you. Now Courage, as you can see, these are actually dragonflies. And dragonfly stands for transformation. And the girl is talking to the moon. The moon is our intuition and our wisdom and the universe messages for us. And she's listening in diligently. Now she's listening in diligently because she knows that she has wisdom within herself. She just needs to have the courage to make the transformation. Now with this lady, after she meditated on metamorphosis, she decided she was going to do a big change in her life. So she packed up her bags. She left a relationship that wasn't serving her well anymore. And she opened, um, she actually got herself an apartment that she loves. And she painted her favorite color, her favorite wall color. And she put up the artwork that she purchased. The, she bought, uh, I believe, three cards. One is metamorphosis. Um, the other one, I believe, is called Wishes Granted. And I don't remember the third one. But uh, she put up the little artwork and then she wrote me the email. So her life has changed tremendously because she took the courage to, and she decided that she was important enough to make the change. And um, she became, she remembered that she loved horses. So she started riding horses again. And she loved horses so much, she actually found a place that she could rent with a big backyard so she can have her a uh, horse as a pet on the backyard and it was amazing because she would show me pictures of her progress and it was fantastic because we actually didn't meet up in the end after I painted this I I wrote to her and showed her the picture unfortunately she didn't come on time so you know I ended up selling courage to somebody else but she was uh, aesthetic her life has changed a lot and now she uh, once she learned how to pick up her courage her life has changed tremendously and she has uh, grown Oversee, gone overseas to work and came back and she became a very powerful person. Uh, so courage is all about um, having the confidence to trust yourself and knowing that, you know, if you have the courage to make changes, it's um, not that difficult. It's just really knowing that you're not going to fall flat on your face, that you have to have the leap of faith and trust that the universe is going to help you out. and to trust that your wisdom is enough to pull you through. And no matter what, you're going to land on your two feet. And always think positive. You know, positivity does a big thing in our lives. If we think positive, we can basically go through any challenges in our life because we, when you're positive, you'll find solutions. And when you find solutions, all these challenges is nothing anymore to you. And therefore, this courage is uh, painted because of... Uh, this lady that shared her story with me. Now you can also see that she's sitting on a wood stump, but the roots of the wood stump is still growing because we're always learning and challenging ourselves. So we have to keep growing. And that's the only way that um, our life will uh, get better and better. And as our life gets better and better, we will have more and more confidence in ourselves because then we have learned basically the secret to uh, solving problem and each problem is different so you have to treat each one differently and you have to find a solution but there's one saying that I always uh, go to and this is um, by the way this is courage too I'll read you to this um, saying it's by Albert Einstein and he said problems cannot be solved at the same level of awareness that created them so remember that if you keep asking the question like why is this doing you know why is this happening to me over and over again 
it's because you're doing the same thing over and over again. You haven't solved your problem yet. And that's the reason why you're doing the same thing over and over again. The same problem keeps coming back. Um, this is Courage 2. Courage 2. The lady is on a swing and she has the moon again. And the moon again is her um, inner wisdom. And you can also see there's uh, water lilies on the ground. Uh, water lilies actually stand for enlightenment. And again, I have dragonflies. This time the dragonflies has a little bit more details because it, they're bigger. And the uh, dragonfly stands for transformation. Now, I like painting paintings that are sort of surreal because, you know, that's part of my um, strength. I, I am imaginative. But at the same time, my strength is also solving problems and be able to use my art as my journal. So, Courage 2 has a different story. Courage 2, it says, this painting is about living life with courage. There are times when life gets challenging and seems to lose its meaning. We sometimes lose our way, but ultimately it is facing the difficulties with courage that make us stronger and better people. We also need to realize that everything that happens to us is meant to teach us lessons. And if we learn to solve our problems with truthfulness and courage, then they become blessing. And that is so true. That has happened to me so many times that I think something is a curse and it becomes the blessing instead because I've learned to solve it. Not only that, when you have courage, you do something and it'll give you confidence. And in order to, like when you have courage, in order to, to solve the problems, you have to take action. And action brings you from A to Z. And when you go from A to Z, then you do step one, A, and then you learn what your step B is, and then so on and so forth. You learn to solve problems very quickly. And then you became a problem solver. So when problems come, you don't dwell on it anymore. You go, okay, how am I going to solve this problem? And matter of fact, you will also learn the way to not create problems because you have learned the always, right? So, you know, life is a learning curve and it's, it's not a straight line. It goes up and down and, you know, we will get wiser and wiser as we go. And um, I do believe that art heals and art motivates our life as well. And, um, I do believe my art heals me and I believe art heals uh, my audience as well because the more you look at the art that actually speaks to you and the messages that goes with it, you will intuitively and also naturally start thinking that way. And once you start thinking in a positive way, you know, sky's the limit, okay? So everyone, trust yourself, trust your intuition, and always go for happiness. Whatever brings you happiness, go for it, okay? Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it, and I shall see you next week, okay? And it'll be around the same time, I would say. Um, next week, I should put up a little, you know, 15 minutes uh, warning that I'll be going live, so this way it's a little easier to catch it live. All right. Thank you so much for the ones that, you know, you're here to be able to watch me live. I really appreciate it. Okay. Bye. Have a wonderful weekend. My uh, weekend is starting um, and I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be gorgeous this weekend. It snowed this morning, but it's now clearing up and I can actually see a little sliver of moon up there and the moon represents my mom. So, you know, when as I'm talking to you, I can actually see mom watching me. All right. Bye, guys. And make sure you are you stay positive because life is wonderful.